Right. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin Willis tries to enjoy every day of his life after 22 years in this prison for a crime Willis always maintained he didn't commit. It took them 22 years to correct that mistake. Now all I'm asking about is what you going to do about it. How should he be compensated for the life he missed for his children growing up without him? I just kept on going, you know, and kept my head up. Willis is telling his story to the very community that sent him to prison, Shreveport, Louisiana, where he was convicted of aggravated rape. This is how would a rape occur. Two decades later, testing of the DNA found at the scene caused prosecutors to drop the charge. Hello, Mr. Willis, how are Willis you? went free. There were press conferences and promises uh, so, of a life uh, regained. What happens to guys like Calvin Willis when they walk away from prison? Well, first of all, the, the press goes away very quickly and the problems um, set in very quickly. Lola Bolin heads the uh, Life uh, After uh, Exoneration uh, Program in Berkeley, I've California. She says Calvin Willis and the growing population of DNA and otherwise exonerated prisoners need not just compensation, but help in dealing with everything from depression to dialing a cell phone. They are entering a, a world that is very new and different for them, and they're entering virtually naked. They have no money, they have no skills, they have no place to live. Bolin is behind Willis, but many of the more than 350 other people in her databank have been exonerated are struggling when they should be reveling in a freedom that was once wrongfully taken away. Frank Buckley, CNN, Berkeley, California.